good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 5th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Always starting out here looking at our sun. Two sunspot regions that we've been watching the last couple days. Not much to them at all, and the second one is dying out. Zero action on our very sleepy sun. Not even coronal holes to talk about right now. We're still expecting a small ramp up in our solar wind speeds. Just get a closer look here. The sunspot regions. We'll look over at real time solar data. And our solar wind speed is steady at 319 kilometers per second. And it's been dropping off all day. So we're expecting a ramp up after this. Last 24 hours for earthquakes. Most recently here, 4.5 in Lardos, Greece. Last 24 hours has not been very busy, but we did see an uptick last night in Alaska. 5.0 here in Alaska. 90 kilometer depth in as well. Ladisitka Island, 5.0 at 130 kilometer depth. This was after a deep earthquake in the Fiji region, 4.7 at a 571 kilometer depth. That's when I went live last night. Then we had a quick 5.0 Indonesia. And then the movement moved north. And then this morning, Recently, we had a 5.1 in Papua New Guinea. South America's only earthquake today, 4.3, 200 kilometer depth. But still watching Cascadia. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of fours and fives, western side of the Ring of Fire. And still watching Earthquake Swarm, Puerto Rico, Dominican. Now here we're looking at the total precipitate water from around the world. And it's getting pretty wet. Equatorial moisture is expanding and moving north. Watching a large system developing here in the West Pacific, heading towards Japan. That is Tropical Storm 20, with no name yet. This is a quick look at it now. It will be a big storm. They're already projecting it to be a four. So a typhoon, category four typhoon. And it doesn't even have a name yet, but I'm sure by the end of the day, there will be a name for this tropical storm number 20. So stay aware, prepared Mariana Islands and South Japan, because it looks like that is where it's heading. It's going to take a beeline for the Mariana Islands as a category one, and then move west northwest towards Japan as a category four. Quite possibly a Category 5 Super 2 Typhoon. Let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. Latest major alerts. As you can see here, Tropical Depression 20 has been named and already projecting it to be a Category 4. So this will be a big storm to talk about over the next few days as it is still building. And right in that region, we have the Era, Japan, volcano erupting today. Let's just get a quick update from all of the volcanoes around the world. Raventador, Popo, Sabancaya, Ducano, Nevados de Chilean, 
Fuego, Asosan, Nevado de Rule, Etna, Copahue in, in Chile, Shivalich in Russia, and Manam in Papua New Guinea. So stay aware, prepared. Things are definitely ramping up in regards to the Northern Hemisphere jet streams. Strong winds and storms affecting Europe already. Polar vortex getting ready to set winter up for the season. A lot of strong winds in South America as well. Let's get to the weather here. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Overlooking North America as we do have a very sizable winter storm heading our way yet again here in Alberta. Low pressure coming from Alaska. High pressure ridge building in behind it. So there will be some wicked winds and some heavy snow with this storm. Cold temperatures, really cold temperatures on the backside. And then moving east, locking itself into the Hudson Bay, southeastern United States. A lot of thunderstorms popping up in this long atmospheric river of moisture. As well, looking at a possible tropical development here just east of Florida, overlooking the Atlantic, large Greenland low pressure system, eating up all the lows that come towards it, Europe being affected already by Lorenzo, Here's the five-day forecast for West Pacific. Or sorry, at Atlantic, West Atlantic. <laughs> Watching possible superstorm development later in the week towards New York. Definitely be watching that one tomorrow. Over the Atlantic, later in the week, another possible tropical development. But we do have two very large lows still spinning in the Atlantic. Here we are. This is the West Pacific Tropical Storm number 20. As you can see, a lot of moisture wrapped up in this storm. The sheer size of it is very big. And for them already to be saying it's going to be a Category 4 typhoon, stay aware and prepare Japan, China, because that beast of a storm is going to be coming your way. Overlooking Southeast Asia and India. Rain in the southern regions of Pakistan. Watch for some heavy rains. Mozambique, Zimbabwe later in the week. Bolivia, Paraguay finally getting some relief. Saw some videos yesterday. It was very inspiring. People dancing in the rain, loving every minute of it. God bless humanity. Thoughts and prayers to the world as we go through these changes together. Looking here at Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I appreciate everybody getting in into those live streams last night. It was really fun. I was glad that I, was, I could share my research with you and catch up with all of you from around the world. Thanks to all who donated. Dan Extreme Vocals, thank you so much for your donation. Always a blessing, brother. God bless you all. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.